Learning target 26 is pretty straightforward. Uh, all we are asked to do in this one is to calculate the change in kinetic energy or in speed that results from performing a specified amount of work on an object. So for this one, it's key that we know that the change in kinetic energy on an object is equal to the net work done on that object. Now we, we have some assumptions here to specify that, um, that it's just going to be um, kinetic energy that we're having an impact on. Uh, so we're not raising or lowering our object um, and, and changing its potential energy, things like that. So this is kind of a simplified case of what we'll get into later on with the more general conservation of energy. So in this one we might be asked something like uh, if we do say a work of a thousand joules thousand joules on uh, on some car and we'll say the car has a mass of uh, we'll make it a little car 500 kilograms one of those little smart cars uh, thousand joules and a mass of 500 kilograms we might be asked uh, let's say it starts from rest that a v naught v naught is zero starts from rest uh, so we might be asked something like uh, what's the final kinetic energy of this car or maybe what's the final speed of this car. Uh, so for final kinetic energy, all we need is this change in kinetic energy is equal to total work or net work done on the car. We'll say that this value is the net work, the total work. Uh, so if the car started at rest, then it would have had a kinetic energy of zero. And uh, if it gains a thousand joules, then it's gonna have a final kinetic energy. I realize I keep writing Ke, but actually on the AP test they just do a K. Kinetic energy final would just be 1,000 joules. Let's try to make that correction here. So no E in the kinetic energy, just the K. They might ask us then to go on and, and find out what the, uh, the final velocity would be for this situation. So there we know that k is equal to one-half mv squared. k here is a thousand joules is equal to one-half times 500 kilograms times v squared. And then we can multiply both sides by, uh, by 2 and divide both sides by 500. So we're going to get 250. And joules is an abbreviated unit for, um, for newton, uh, newton meters. And so it turns out when we divide newton meters by kilograms, since a newton is another abbreviation for a kilogram meter per second squared, we're going to end up with meters squared per second squared. And I did this math wrong. Uh, 2,000 divided by 500, that'd be 4 equal to v squared and then we can square root both sides and we get 2 meters per second is equal to our final velocity.